Washington State Patrol is investigating what caused that semi to roll over on I-5. Yeah, Brent Weisberg continues our coverage from the scene this morning. He joins us with the very latest information. Brent? Ken and Jenny, uh, Washington State Patrol tells us that it was because the semi driver was going way too fast as he was getting onto the bridge. I want to show you some of the debris that crews are cleaning up. This is a huge piece of concrete that actually broke off a statue just before you get onto the bridge. And the semi was actually carrying uh, bottles of wine. This is one of the boxes that were uh, just dumped out. And in the background here, you can see all the crews from Washington Department of Transportation and Oregon Department of Transportation. Right now, they're still in the very early stages of cleaning up all the debris. They do have the semi upright. Now, take a look at some video from earlier this morning. This crash happened around 2.15 this morning. We understand from WSP that the driver was going too fast and lost control just before he was coming onto the uh, bridge. He hit the... Um, the pedestrian arm here that blocks the gate for bikers and runners who jog across the interstate bridge and the semi was tipped over opening up the cab and spilling all those empty wine bottles. Now we do know that they have uh, checked the bridge. It is structurally sound but they have a lot of cleanup to do and repairs to do to the bridge including the gates. And now we did talk to the uh, the son of the driver who was actually inside the cab as it tipped over. Listen to how he described the crash. It, oh, the sound was nuts. It was just a loud bang. There was a couple of bangs, and um, you know, it was nuts. The whole thing, everything was falling. There was just stuff. Uh, I was crazy. I was just thinking about my dad. I was hoping he was okay. And WSP tells us that the driver has been cited for negligent driving. He has, his name has not been released. Let's come out to this live picture right now. And you can see the crews actually uh, working to remove the pedestrian arm gate that comes down to stop traffic from going over the bridge. You can see them. They're actually using a little crane right now to lift it up because it's so heavy. That's just part of the damage that was done when this semi tipped over here along the inter interstate bridge on I-5. All lanes remain blocked detour as you heard Carly say is uh, SR 14 to 205 so we'll send it back to you guys in the studio this continues to be a big mess for the morning commute